back to another project explore episode and today i'm going to be talking about some stuff that i mentioned in a couple of videos recently um mainly uh lowering the vehicle now my, i know i mentioned a few months ago when i did a video called insane car mod ideas that i had that lowering the truck was simply not going to happen due to the fact that it is suv based now after Further reconsideration and well being talked into it, I've decided that it will be lowered. Now, I'm not going to bag it like one I'm going to show on screen here in a moment. <laughs> but, um, you know, it is going to be lowered a little bit. And by that, I mean um, two inches up here. So it will be about maybe that much lower. I don't know. I'm not really good at precise measurements, just guessing. Um, and then three inches out back to level it out a little bit. So it looks like it's, you know, sitting horizontal. Um, and everyone's, I've been getting a lot of th a lot of things being told to me like, hey, what are you thinking? But my rule around here is, if it's four wheel drive, it goes up. If it's two wheel, it goes down. And this is, if you haven't known, a two wheel drive truck. So um, I'm going for more of a, I guess you could say a like second gen sport track, a journal look, which I'll probably show up on the screen. Yeah! Uh, here in a moment. And uh, yeah, then there we, um kind of like just a whole ton of stuff now i mentioned back in older mods um i think i mentioned hood stripes uh, looking at those hopefully within the next three days i'll get started with some of the aesthetic stuff now the springs and stuff probably won't happen for a little while longer due to the fact that they are very expensive um and uh yeah but i'm also planning on upgrading to about 18 to 20 inch rims or 19 to 20 inch rims i'm not quite sure yet what size i've decided on for all the way around but uh there, there probably will be new rims and tires in the future um again smoke tail lights and i've looked at a set that keep this and this in red and then it backs the rest in black so it's still legal um down in my state my state is very prolific about headlights and taillight tents they're very strict on it um, i also looked at another kit that did the same thing with this except the reflective stuff is still semi-silver so it's still reflects properly like it's supposed to and this is somewhat blacked out so um that kit runs around i think about 89 dollars or so um it'd be really cool and then eventually if i can get a job or this takes off really well i do want to get this vehicle repainted now um this is all dirt you see on the hood right now because we've been going to going a water band due to a drought so i haven't been able to wash the truck but eventually i'll probably make another video washing the vehicle and um yeah so um Going on the inside, though, there are a few little things I want to do inside the vehicle as well. So, I'll do my key for a moment. The infamous lack of keyless entry this truck's got. Now, I do want to get a steering wheel cover because this steering wheel is completely plastic. And it gets really cold very quickly, uh, especially in the winter. Um, even with the heat drum full blast, uh, it still freezes my hands a little bit. Um, and as well as I thought about getting racing harness seats but it'd be really hard to get those wired up in here just due to the fact that these aren't really meant to have fast bodies and um my fast bodies i mean something that's quick um something that we need racing harnesses um but with the lowering springs i may even go coilovers if they aren't too expensive now um depending on prices and stuff it depend whether i go coilovers or lowering springs um uh, lowering springs i don't know about the prices on those but coilovers i do i have heard are pretty pricey um and eventually i want this thing to be supercharged now that is going to be the most expensive part i'll put on this vehicle um superchargers are quite pricey um but uh that's always an option down the road um you can take a 4.6 liter mustang supercharger I believe from the svt cobra r and then you can get a computer chip installed which will detune said supercharger to where it'll run perfectly okay on a four liter ford v6 like this one so Eventually, it can become a truck that is quite fearful and a bit of a sleeper. Now, um, originally, I was going to get a project car, um, but I was talked out of doing that. Same person who taught me to learn this vehicle said it'd be great just to build what I've got now. And, you know, I kind of believe him. You know, building this up instead of getting a second car um, would be more practical because it would save me money on insurance having to insure two cars, even though I don't pay for the insurance in this vehicle. My parents do it for me. Um and keeping up with two cars have to buy maintenance stuff um now i don't have to worry about maintenance on the truck but i'm gonna bet if i did get a second car my parents would pay the insurance and the uh gas and the maintenance on it which would not be fun because especially if i got a project it would cost probably hundreds to thousands of dollars to fix um but i do decide though whenever i do have the money to get a project car whether it be a few years from now or what um i will go probably the salvage routes buy one that's crashed a little bit 
not too damaged, like horribly, but something I can fix. And uh, yeah, but um, that's all I can really think of to talk about in this Explore video. Um, I do also want to get this refinished eventually because it's uh, peeling a little bit here and there. Um, I do want to get this entire head unit replaced. It's horrible. Um, it's glitchy, doesn't have an aux port, which is why I have this in here because this transmits a signal to my antenna over here, which it never gets a good signal out here. Um, it's really hard to find a, find a good station. I do want to get my window motors replaced because that one on the back is going out and this one's already practically dead. I have to press it four, four or five times to get the window to roll down in the mornings. Um, but yeah, besides that, I don't really have many complaints with this vehicle. I've never really had that many complaints with this truck. Um, besides the motor being kind of weak, 